the lady from Anka. International Affair. The lady from Anka. The lady. Hi, today I'm going to take a look at claiming a, a legacy YouTube account. A legacy YouTube account is any YouTube account that was created before May 2009. And in order for it to still be in its legacy state, it also cannot have been used since the 10th of January 2011. And that is because from that date onwards, Google made it necessary for anybody using their legacy YouTube account to claim them for a Google account, making them YouTube channels. So if you're not 100% certain whether you still have a legacy YouTube account or even ever had one, go to your about section on your YouTube account and you can put forward slash about on it or you can use the tab and you will look at the stats and you will see that in this case, uh, this example, it was created on the 20th of June 2006. So that is well within that period of legacy YouTube accounts. Then clicking on either playlists, if you've created playlists for yourself or if you've uploaded videos, click on those one of those tabs and check the dates of your most recent upload. And in this case here, you'll see that the most recent upload, or in fact, the only one was three years ago, only three years ago. And that is obviously since the 10th of January 2011. So this particular once legacy YouTube account no longer is legacy, but that is how you would determine whether you need to use the Gaia link, which is the process of claiming a legacy YouTube account for a Google account. So let's look at the information on the Gaia link and claiming a legacy YouTube account provided by the YouTube Help Center. And you see here that it says if you created your channel, your YouTube legacy YouTube account before May 2009 and haven't signed in since January 2011, they have automatically connected your legacy YouTube account to a brand account. And you now need to link that brand account to an existing Google account so that you can access your YouTube brand account, which is what the combination of your YouTube product and the brand account that they created for you is called. And here's how you do this. Sign in to a Google account that you want to use and to go to the Gaia link. I'll give you the Gaia link and also the link to this particular Help Center article in the video description. And then you would enter your YouTube username, which is the last part of the custom URL, which is this bit here. And you would then add add the legacy YouTube account password. And this is where it gets tricky because it says here, if you don't remember your old YouTube password, unfortunately there is no password recovery option. But that doesn't necessarily have to be the case because if you remember when you first set up your legacy YouTube account, you actually were asked to provide an email address for password recovery purposes. Now, if you still have use of that email address, be it Yahoo, Hotmail, private domain, and yes, even Gmail, if you can make a Google account with that email address and then sign into that Google account before approaching the Gaia link, you might actually find that you can circumvent the need for entering the legacy YouTube account password. So, I'm going to actually bypass this step here because you can go straight to the Gaia link and if you're not signed in, you will be asked to sign in. So I'm going to pick this particular Google account and I'm going to sign into the Google account. And just a little aside here, if you don't yet have a recovery phone number or recovery email address for your Google account, please consider adding them. Update your details, make sure that you have uh, working recovery options for yourself because Google have really, really ramped up security and it is incredibly important that you don't lose access to your precious assets. And here we are at the Gaia link. It's erroneously referred to as a claim a pre-Google YouTube channel process. It's actually claim a legacy YouTube account linked to a brand account process. 
we enter the custom URL or the YouTube username, which is the last bit in the custom URL. And then we enter the legacy YouTube account password. If you have entered the correct password, then one of two things will happen. You will either have the legacy YouTube account linked to your Google account, or as in this case, you'll be told that the channel is not available to be claimed. It's not available to be claimed because as you might remember, this particular one had a video uploaded to it less than four years ago. So that actually tells, tells us that it has already been claimed. So that's why it's no longer available to be claimed because it has been claimed. So that is how you claim a legacy YouTube account in 2021. Thank you for listening and goodbye.